We live in a country that incarcerates its own people more than any other nation in the world. Because of what I learned while I was incarcerated um, and the other women that I saw and how I was impacting other women and families, that's what's led to my life work. I never thought I would have been a first time nonviolent drug offender having to give birth to my son while I was incarcerated. And five minutes after I gave birth to him, the US Marshal stormed into my hospital room and said that my legs had to be handcuffed and shackled to the bed at all times. I believe sentencing people with such harsh draconian sentences that it causes more harm than good to be sentenced to 24 and a half years. And I'm grateful that after six and a half years, I was released from prison. But there are so many other people that have these tremendously long sentences and the impact that it has on families, the impact that it has on your own mental health um, and spiritually, uh, physically. It's just time. It's time for our nation to recognize that we actually have human beings that are behind bars who make mistakes. But when you talk about crime and violence in our country, who do you think is gonna be most impactful in changing the dynamics of gun violence in our communities? It's credible messengers. It's those people who are wasting away in our state and federal prisons in this country who are waiting for an opportunity just like myself, just what I've been doing. And I can't even describe to you the impact that it's had on young people across the country. Well, those men and women who are still in prisons could have that same impact. 50 years is too long. Wake up.